Well, well, how do you do, Breeze 89? And to all of you that might see this little, little short video tutorial, I'm the MIDI man at your service again. It's been a while since I've done a video tutorial. Matter of fact, I haven't done one this year. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I became ill back in February of this year, and I've been up and down and having a lot of medical issues and doing a lot of things up until this present time. But we thank God that we are much better, and we're going to give him all the glory and the praise for that. And to the one that acts, I don't know whether you're female or male, but nevertheless, it doesn't matter. I don't know your level of uh, musicianship, so I'm just going to assume that you do know a little something about the number system and about the basic chords and scales and stuff like that, and then we will go on and try to teach you how to play this, this song that you asked about called Fix it, Jesus, the original one from the Canton Spirituals with Brother uh, Harvey Watkins Sr., we call him Pop. Dead, he rest in peace, but he's he no longer with us right now, but he was very, very, uh, he was, uh, I think he was one of the original uh, Canton Spirituals. I think he's the one, him and his, him and a cousin, I think, or uh, Something like that. They were one formed the group back in the 40s, I believe it was. Uh, some seven, uh, Harvey Jr. didn't start singing with them until like, oh, maybe, I think he had a song with him 17 years before he passed. And he had been singing with his father. He got a chance to sing with his father. So, Breezer 89, we going to try to do this. We're doing it as, a, as per your request. We're doing it simple. I try to keep everything simple when I'm trying to teach all, whether it's beginner, intermediate, all the pros out there, they should already know what to do. Matter of fact, do not do not look down on the, the simplicity of uh, the uh, way I'm going to show uh, Breezy this here particular song because there's nothing really real fancy about it, nothing difficult about it. Matter of fact, there are only about four chords in the whole song. Quartet music tends to be that way. It's, it's a lot of people, I remember my buddy Hammerman saying one time, a lot of people think that it's overly simple and everything, and they underestimate the music, but the music is very good. And you have to really understand, you know, the, the, the flow and, the, and the, the, the flow of all quartet music. But it's very, very good. So... I got my trusty, I found, I've been up all night. I, I'm still up, yeah, try, I was trying to get everything. I had to find the software, had to find my old trusty keyboard up here. And I hope that you can see it on uh, everything. Is that, And I hope it, and I got it, I got it in such a way that the music will co coincide with the keys on there. And hopefully you won't have no lag in it. That way you can uh, follow along pretty well. Okay, the song is in the key of B flat. I don't have any script for this here, so it's totally uh, impromptu. I, I, I'm taking it straight from the hip. It's in the key of B flat. That's the key. Uh, now, if, in, in, if you know your number system, the one, B flat, two is C, that's the two, D, three, E flat 4, F5, G6, A7, then back to the 8 or the 1, octave higher. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the key. Okay, but the chords that you're going to use the most in this song, as a matter of fact, the, the four chords I'm going to show you is the four main chords to this whole song. And it's... Uh, B flat, E flat, F, back to B flat. Okay, that's B flat, E flat, F. But now the sixth chord is got. So really, I should have said one, two, three, four. That's the four chord. And then back to the one. That's the I uh, know not the four chord, but the sixth chord. That's the sixth chord. So that those are the those are the chords. Now, first of all, 
But let me just give you a, a little flow of how the song starts, show the movement, and uh, you need to listen to the song and you find your own way to put your own groove with it. And you can use the chords and you can do the changes and put the rhythm that you want, play the rhythm with your right hand the way you want to, as the way you feel the song. Don't try to do it the way I do it because I can do it two or three, four, five, six different ways uh, because I know the song. But in other words, it started, when it starts out, you know, let me uh, first let you know that I cannot do much singing. I had congestive heart failure, and it makes me be short-winded. I can't do very much right now. I've been trying to work at it ever since March. I've been trying to get back into the flow, but I have to go very slow. So if, you, if my voice drop out, don't feel bad about it. Just give, pray for me because it's, it's not strong just yet. But it starts out. Oh, let me, sorry about that. Let me show you one more chord. It's called the five augmented chord. That chord there, the five augmented, that's the chord that leads into the, the song. This, this here chord leads into the song. It leads to the one. In other words, let me go on and put my left hand with that. See that? That's the, that's the, that's the chord to start with. Now, I, I could just start singing from there and just go to the one. But if you want to do it like... Uh, you want to play a little intro to that you could do like and then start it. that's the way that's a little intro to if you if you want to do it that way but the song goes on same way and then when you get ready for the rundown fix the Jesus you just stay on that B flat Whichever it may be, I don't know you male or female, but that's the whole song. You got five chords, well, really four chords. Uh, and that movement and other stuff, that just little extra gravy, adding the ninth here and the sixth and the flat seven there. Nothing more than that. Listen to the song, learn to flow with it, and put your own style. Play, play it the way you want to, but that is the basic. You got the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, and the sixth chord. 
that is it. So I hope that this helped you. Uh, let me know. I, I've been on, it's been, I've not, this is the first uh, tutorial I've done since I've been sick. And the first one I've done this year since I've been back. So let me know, did this help you at all? And I'm not talking to you pros. I know you pros. Y'all, you know, you can just swoop through this here. But I'm talking to the one that asked for the song. Breezy89 is the one that asked for the tutorial. So that's why I did the tutorial. So, but it, if it may help somebody else, thank God. And we're going to give him all the glory and the praise for that. So with that being said, let me know, Breezy89, if this here uh, tutorial helped. And uh, we hope that it will help you in some sort of way or fashion. And if I can be of any more assistance to you, please let me know. I'm not a performance major. I wasn't a performance major. My, th my concentration in music was theory and music composition. I play, I, I play enough keyboard to get by. I do play in the church. And I can play enough to get by. I'm no fancy finger musician, pianist. I'm not a concert pianist. I can play some basic uh, things in the classical. I know I know the music and uh, everything, but I'm not, I wasn't a performance major. But anything in, that I can help you with musically, I am very well capable of uh, and well uh, educated in the music theory and composition and music in general. But I'm just not a performance major. I was a uh, theory and composition. Uh, I concentrated in those two areas. So. If you have any more problems or whatever, if you have another something else you might want to say about this song, I'll be more than willing and ha to help you out if the Lord say so. So with that being said, let me know. Please let me know and leave a comment. Either get with me through by way of my website, uh, uh, walkersmusic.com, or you can email me at batmat at hotmail.com. That's B-A-T-M-A-T-T -A -T -T at Hotmail.com. That's B-A-T-M-A-T-T -T -T at Hotmail.com. That being said, this is Midi Man saying peace and goodbye.